Hello, welcome back to the next tutorial. Um, we'll be styling the um, products.php page in this tutorial. Um, so first of all, let's just cover some of the small basics like the anchor tag, which we're going to have give a colour, which is four eight five seven seven D, a nice little blue text. Wait, that gets so um, none of the links will be underlined anymore, um, and that's all we need to do for that one. Now we're going to do the a hover, which is the anchor text hover, and this one we'll just have a text decoration of underline. Um, so if we save that, go over here, you'll notice that all of these are given a nice little colour and when you go over it, it's all the underline. Um, hmm, I think I might change this colour. Um, let's try 297DE5. See how that looks. That's, mm, yeah, that's a nicer colour for a link, I think. Okay. Now coming back on with this, we've got H1 and H2, which we'll style. We'll also style these individually in a minute. We've got margin, margin bottom of 15 pixels. Now we'll do H1, font size, 18 pixels. And H2 with a font size of 16 pixels. Save that again, go across over here. Now you can see that one's just got a bit bigger. Um, and now we're going on to stuff which is in the actual table. So main, table, and make the width of it. 480 pixels. Save it. Let's just go across and check that it's worked. There you go. That's a bit more spaced out. A bit better. Um, main table and header. And we'll make that have a padding of 10 pixels. I'll give it that background colour for five, uh, four eight five seven seven D. Give it a colour of pure white colour, and the text aligned to left. Let's see how that looks. That is horrible because we can't read it. Um, let's see. Make the background, make the text color three three three. Oh, that might be why we can't see any difference. Let's try that back at FFF again. There we go. That's better. Um, I've just noticed I've not even put a capital on that. Okay, um, so as you can see it's all put into um, good lines. I might centre this text, well, let's just see how that looks. But with centering it we need to get rid of padding. Okay that was a mistake, we don't need to get rid of padding, we need the padding there. Save it again. To me, that doesn't look centered. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh well, we'll uh, work over that later. Oh, I'll also go see whether. Won't wait, I want it bold. There you go. Nice little bold text. Um, on this one, we are now going to main table TD. And to make it so it looks more central, let's do 5 pixels. Oops, close that. Hmm. I might try 9 pixels. Hmm, I think it looked better with 5. Right, um, save that. And then we've got the final one which is main table t r which is table row d3 d c f2 let's see how that looks that's not bad that looks quite nice i think <coughs> all perfectly readable, which is quite appealing to look at. So right that's um that saved. And if you have something that doesn't look like this, I'll just quickly go over the rest of the code which I've just done today. So we've got an architecture with a colour here which is um two nine seven D E five. It's a text decoration which is none. And then we have anchor hover which is when you when your mouse goes over it, hovers over it which is text decoration underline and then we've got h1 and h2 which is margin bottom with 15 pixels and we've got h1 on its own which is just font size 18 and h2 which is font type size 16 width which is 480 pixels padding which is 10 pixels this is in the uh, main table uh, table header now um, padding 10 um, background colour which is 48577D colour which is um, FFF which is white text line centre and font weight bold um, padding at 5 pixels in the tra uh, table um, TD in the main table TD and in the main table TR we have background colour of D3DCF2 so that's the end of this tutorial, save that, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye and thanks.